Hello I Quanters, presenting before you the I Brahma series. This series will be basically a question series in which we'll be asking you questions which are focused on concept building and out of the box thinking. So presenting before you the first question, a lot of you have already tried it on the uh, Facebook group and I'm really happy for such an overwhelming response to the question. So we'll understand the step by step solution to this question. Now look at this, this is a square and the length of the side is given as x units. In between, in between there are three lines, three perpendicular lines in fact of lengths 14, 7 and 9. It looks like someone wanted to join this vertex, okay I'll name the vertex, I'll name this as A and this as B. So it looks like someone wanted to join A and B and in between he got confused or maybe he played with their minds and he, he included, he introduced another line which broke the AB and that line was 7 units of length. So what was he trying to do? He was trying to make the diagonal, right? Like if I join A and B, I'll get the diagonal of the square. And this is where we have to, this is the line on which we have to think. So as you know that AB is nothing but the diagonal of the square and as we know that diagonal of a square is nothing but root 2 times the side of the square. So side is given as x, if I multiply x with root 2, I will get the diagonal. Well, or I can say that side is equal to diagonal divided by root 2 and this is what we have to actually find. So now going back to what I said earlier, I said there was someone who was trying to create the diagonal but he played with our minds and he broke it in between by introducing this line of side, this line of length 7 units. So let us go back to where we started. What if I want to actually create the diagonal. Let us do that. I want to create the diagonal. Just a minute. So I have joined AB and this is basically the diagonal. Now what next can I do? How can I find it? So if this line of 7 units was not in between the square, it was somewhere out. If I want to move this out of the square, I will just pick it up and push it towards here. So this is what I get. This will be 7 units in length and similarly, this line of uh, si uh, length 9 units, if I put it, push it downwards, this will actually coincide here. Let this point be C this is 9. I hope this is clear. So basically we have moved these two lines 7 and then 9 and this is how we get a right angle triangle which is ABC and this right angle triangle is right angled at vertex C, right? Because this is right angle triangle we have moved parallelly and this is what we get. Now the length of AB is basically what we have to calculate and that will be the value of the diagonal. BC is what we already have that is 7 units and the length of AC is 14 plus this 9 which will come out to be 23 units. In any right angle triangle Pythagoras theorem can be applied and Pythagoras theorem says that the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of perpendicular and base. Here the hypotenuse is AB, the perpendicular is BC and the base is AC. Just put in the values here. So I will get AB square is equal to 7 square plus 23 square. 7 square plus 23 square. Calculating it further, square of 7 is 49 and square of 23 is 520 
9. All right. Which means AB taking square root on both the sides will be square root of 49 plus 529. That is equal to 578. Now, if you factorize 578, it is 2 multiplied by 289. 2 multiplied by 289. 2 multiplied by 289. And now we know, I'm sorry, it's 289. We know that square root of 289 is nothing but 17. So I can say, I'll just write it here. I can say that AB is equal to 17 times root 2. This is the value of AB, which is originally the diagonal of the square. And we, as we have this result here, we need to find the value of X. And the value of AB, we can replace here as the value of D. So X will be equal to, X will be equal to 17 root 2 divided by root 2 or 17 units. This is our answer. Hope you enjoyed this question. Hope you enjoyed the solution. In case you have doubts, just feel free to get in touch via our comment. Thank you.